Alright, what's up guys? And it was always welcome back to the OU game, which is truly the Scarander. And today I'm using actually a bit of a different team. I basically haven't had the time to get mods together. So I'm using pre-existing rather good mods because I want to have a chance of actually not losing. And thank god I did. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, Yume is actually really good. Uh, it is a Specs variant with um, Spikes and Switcheroo, mainly to disrupt teams if possible. And uh, for this matchup, I mean, I don't switch in well versus Alaka Sam, but then again, who does, right? Uh, Choice Bandit... Um, Hero Cross looks really solid if I can get it right. Need to whittle down with Dolphin, though that could be a struggle. Um, I think my strongest lead here is actually leading off with um, Considered the Breloom. Um, actually, either Safira or Yumei. I think I'll start off with that. It's so obvious, but the thing is, the best switch ins do not want to soak damage either. I am a bit worried about, you know, the standard uh, Sash the Breloom, which definitely throws me off. Then again, who doesn't, right? Uh, with Spore and whatnot. Let's see, leads off with Thawfan. So, that's a good thing. Darfan could carry a uh, knockoff, and if so, it could take uh, take me out, of course. But hopefully, my Ice Beam should make him uh, less effective. I know Metagross is a good switch in, but then again, it's not going to come in on first turn. Oh, there we go. Noise. Don't have knockoff. Alright, so fair exchange. Huh, I wonder. <laughs> Alright. You know what? That's fair. Well, the good part about this is that I can get my, f my Moxie straight on at it, and uh, let's see what it wants to do. I kind of just want to force uh, like a Sam to come in, if possible. Let's see. Ooh, cast up. Cast up rocks. Cast up rocks. Nice. Well done. So I've been seeing this lately, it, it doesn't throw me off, but rather it's, like, it's such a good anti-lead, I like it, I hate it, I hate to see it, but I like it. <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's weird to say that it has some complexity, but it really does. So right, let's see. 5-5, five, five, and I think my opponent has a due to Stealth Rock, a bit of a... Um, a bit of a um, lead. <laughs> it has to force me to spin eventually, unless I'll just deal with the rocks as is. I remember, like when people talked about the Gen Four meta, that uh, the OU basically was looking more like um, um, that, that. Eventual Mon basically looked like um, they, they were able to deal with rocks, and that was the easy solution to not deal with rocks. I kind of like that. That was the essence. Uh, Alright, doesn't necessarily switch in well against this. A Moonblast is not great. Moonblast is really good here versus me. Uh, like, too much maybe. It has to be Scarfed. If I get this wrong, I'm in quite a predicament. He has to think Moonblast is better overall play. And if not, the more power to my opponent because I'm not, I'm not enjoying this switching at all. Let's see, please don't psychic dazzling limb, good neutral, thank god. <laughs> oh thank god. Um not that I believe in such things. Um can set up my own rocks actually. Um get a chance to see if he's able to switch up moves. So we need to find a way to whittle this guy down too. So maybe not locking myself in the close combat might be the overall most solid option. Plus if I go now for self rocks, I'm probably not gonna defog throughout this game. Um and considering the way he brought it in, I kinda feel it has to be um It has to be sashed, right? Or I mean focus scarfed. Focus scarf scarfed. Focus scarf, that's a new thing. So Mega Horn might be actually my most solid, like locked in attacking move. Why does this take so long? I mean, if I'm getting this wrong, and he's just gonna throw a psychic bag at me, then that's not gonna be pretty. This is our withdrawal. I'm thinking Metagross. Roll Charm. Oh, that's fair. Good overall switching, and uh, if I went for Earth Power, that would have been terrible. 
Um, so Hydro Pump is kind of free. So I gotta bring Safira and uh, basically, I mean, I put a good Volt Switch, which would be like the worst of two evils, but it doesn't make sense for him doing that. That would have been a tremendous heart read, however. Right, that's gonna sting. But not, not impossible to soak once more. Um, however, I don't deal with the possible Metagross switch in. And, um... Hmm. Yeah, I'm dropping Draco. He could hard switch, I guess. We just decided to stay in, so we're gonna get a huge chunk of damage onto this. Ooh, yes. The only bad part about that is, um, well, Citrus isn't necessarily a problem, but um, he's not gonna come in at minus two on me, because Volt Switch is such a free thing to do. I'm not sure I would sit in, though, to that damage output, I mean. I mean, it's tremendously awful to be forced to be soaking that. Uh, I mean, what what's a switch in here? I don't think, depending on his, um, I like his if his life will be, I mean, and then I straight up die to Shadow Ball. But Metagross should be a more solid switch, I think. Though, God of War kind of too. God of War doesn't fear too much. I like his sound, there we go. So do I want to stay in and hope to break a sash? I kind of want to. Yeah. See, so go for Shadow Ball. If it's Life Orb, it should kill. It's definitely not Life Orb. <laughs> it's definitely Sash. So really glad breaking that. Um, crit, Pfft, please. All right, so. I always can switch this guy in again, if I needed to. Maybe. Switching just the palm and um, really try to soak, like his best move. And Retail with an awkward jet. I just want to really save stuff here. I think it has merits throughout the matchup due to. Um, um, let's see. Because Kiss of Shadow Ball is good for me, really. Um, oh, it's still gonna hurt though. Yeah, nice. That's crit. Alright. I, I just thought that was gonna do that much anyway. <laughs> right, Aqua Jetin. I mean, basically his best switch in Zada Rodom or second Alex Sand, which definitely helps. Uh, <laughs> thanks. So, Alright, so I think Rodom comes in again. And I still can use Aqua Jets against the majority of these mons that are remaining. Um, I wonder. Metagross, there we go. I remember you, buddy. Definitely remember you. Like four mons remaining, and my pit pitchins, switchins are poor and far in between. Uh, I gotta hope this isn't like a choice banded earthquake in one because then it will not look pretty. Because um, this would be a really dumb switch, and if so. Ooh, meter Mash. Good, I got the resisted hit, baby. Still hurt like a motherfucker. <laughs> so right, straight up T bolting this. I'm. Raiko is not incredible. I really like to see that it has leftovers because that means that it could be very defensive and if so, then uh, Heracross could be good. Versus this all. And all. And whatnot. And etc. See, Saison for the Thunderbolt. Great. Didn't do as much as I wanted to. Get the Cripple though, so, you know, you can't, you can't get everything. Earthquake is going to absolutely kill me. <laughs> because it is an Earthquake. All right, it's gonna get the leftovers, and I guess I gotta make a call here, but I 
I think, due to him being crippled, that I could actually go for a straight up waterfall here and take it out. Yeah. I mean, his best move should be Bullet Punch, and I'm not sure that's going to do a lot. It could, though. I'm making this up as I go. I mean... <laughs> even him, he has to think about it, which I like. Please. Oh, he had the Bullet Punch and got crippled. Oh, that's... um. I mean, for his words, depending on how offensive that could have been, yeah, if anything, like, let's say he gets the bullet punch now and it does actually kill me. That that would have been just a massive letdown for him. I kind of want him to kill me now. How much does a bullet punch do? It killed. Nice. So it also means that he, of course, lost a massive momentum there, which definitely sucks my opponent. What is fortunate for me is that... I get to send in my hero cross and rely on 85% baby to get this win because I should be able to outspeed guard war and with a plus one I'm pretty sure everything falls in front of me granted I connect my hit that is see bullet plunge will do ins insignificant mega horn connects nice hope that keeps going because Rotom, I'm pretty sure dying. God were definitely dying out to rocks if it is a surprised focus sash set. So the only mana I should be wary about is the fourth one I can't remember. Let's find out which one that is. <laughs> I should really be taking a picture of the team. Here comes the God War, great. So that's his natural response. Like I said, I should be Yali, I should not be worried. About more than 15% of unluck. Is it called unluck? I think unlucky. Do you have speed? We do connect. That's God War out of the way. I think Heracross got it. I think we're in this. I think we got the GG in our hand. Yes. 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 Who's next? My horn is ready. For the Undos Ma- Oh, ha, 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 ha. Yes! <laughs> nom, nom, nom. <laughs> oh, it stinks, doesn't it? <laughs> Alright, guys, as always, thank you for watching. And have a great day, alright? <laughs>